I cannot believe this. Check this I out. Have gardens at our homes, but is there such thing of just too much of a good thing? City of Orlando says when it comes to one house, the answer is yes. And now they want the homeowner to take action. Kristen Giannis is live tonight at a home Listen on to this. East Orlando Street. What are we talking about here, Kristen? Lauren, it looks like I could be on a farm right now. I got a radish and some beans, but I'm actually in the front yard of a home in, in the middle of Orlando. Now, this garden had to be dug Tell up me by that they're not today. pinpointing preppers now. And as you can see, it's still here, and that's the problem. It's a garden. I said you'll take my house before you take my vegetable garden. Radish, bush and beans, and kale are just a few of the veggies you'll have to step over to get to Jason Helvingston's front door. There's nothing wrong here. There's nothing poisonous here. There's not. This is a sustainable plot of land. But his 25 by 25 foot micro irrigated vegetable garden is against city code, and he's been asked to dig it up. I said to the city, "All right, we'll put up a fence." Not acceptable. City right. code requires ground covers to be planted in a way that gives off a finished like appearance, so that neighborhood Jeez. lawns are clean and inviting, keeping property yeah, values up. Helvingston nice. has decided not to listen to the city. Instead, he's trying to petition the code to allow for veggie gardens in front yards. No, definitely not bothered by it. As a matter of fact, we love it. He's got more than 200 signatures on a petition, and he's hoping the city will reconsider. This is another example of the government telling us what we can do with our own property. That should never happen. Jeez. No. I've heard a couple other stories like this here this past couple months, but just to recap in case you're not really grasping what I'm showing you here, the city of Orlando is telling this man who owns his home, and look at this home. This is a very modest, small, petite little home. He's not in a fancy neighborhood where, you know, <laughs> they have bylaws or whatever. He's in a standard outskirts area, and he's growing a vegetable garden. And the city is going to make him take up his vegetable garden. Y'all... Do you understand what this kind of thing is? I, I mean, okay, you know, some of you all might want to go, oh, well, property values. You know what? He's got 200 signatures from neighbors saying that they like his garden. They're happy with it. As a matter of fact, looking at this little shack of a home, it looks about the size of, like, my kitchen. He's probably doubled his property value by making his yard produce food. But regardless, he owns his home. He's not in, like I said, he's not in one of those areas where, you know, they have bylaws and, and mutual restrictions and stuff. It, he owns his home. He's not a renter. He owns his home. He owns this. He pays taxes on this. He worked to earn this home. And they're telling him he can't have a garden. Think about that.